Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrew Smagus, and I am presenting to you today from Canada. And this lightning presentation is a short exploration of an issue that arose during a project I did with the Australian Institute of Health Innovation. And that issue is, what is the relationship between resilient healthcare and health systems resilience? Uh, this question arose during a project where we commented on how issues at the meso and macro levels of healthcare are not prominent in the resilient healthcare literature. That comment got the response, well, isn't that the domain of health systems resilience? I'm simplifying that exchange a bit, but the point is that it prompted us to consider the relationship between resilient healthcare and health systems resilience. Are they separate entities? How different are they? How distinct are their goals? Presently, the two seemingly exist almost as independent research streams in the healthcare literature. Each has been successful, but there's not much interaction between them despite their shared basis in resilience. This independence may be due to the differences in their origin. As everyone here knows, resilient healthcare emerged from safety science and its literature focus large, focuses largely on issues at the level of the clinical microsystem. Health systems resilience has its roots more in disaster resilience. Its literature examines the application of resilience in public health responses to major global health crises, such as outbreaks of infectious diseases. With its focus on public health, the health systems resilience literature addresses resilience more at the macro level of healthcare systems. While they have these differences, they also have much in common. Uh, both obviously utilize the concepts of resilience, particularly Holnagel's resilience potentials. And looking at these differences and similarities, one starts to wonder if these two aren't best thought of simply as resilience applied at different levels of analysis rather than as separate entities. If viewed that way, then resilient healthcare and health systems resilience begin to appear complementary and greater engagement between the two could address some of the gaps in the resilient healthcare literature. For example, the desire within resilient healthcare to do more at the meso and macro levels of healthcare could be well served through collaboration with health systems resilience. Ultimately, determining how to bring resilient healthcare and health systems resilience together in collaboration may be an important step in enhancing the resilience of healthcare systems around the world. And I will conclude there and simply say thank you for the opportunity to present to the Resilience Healthcare Society. Thank you.